Do you want to know one of the many reasons why I chose not to buy a Warden in addition to all of the, you know, Elite 2.0, bad quality, and the breaking and all that? One of the main reasons was because you could still go to Walmart, at least in my area, and purchase a rough cut still. A perfectly good rough cut, and it's the Battle Camo Edition, which in my mind looks super sweet. Um, and through times at my club, in, um, at my college, I managed to acquire from someone as payment for modifying one of their blasters, um, another rough cut, which was handy because mine happened to be broken, and I thought it was a piece. Turns out it wasn't, and I fixed it. However, when I opened this one, this one was feeling a bit crunchy, and... When I opened it up, I found that this one was also broken. But that was fine, because I managed to get mine working out of regular, and I had always been planning to build, ever since I saw Captain Xavier's video on it, a direct prime rough cut. Um, specifically as well, because you can put in a larger spring load, and it can deal with it. You can't with the pump because of the gear system. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, as a surprise, I'm actually making this for my brother, um, which uh, and I'll be putting in some extra springs and just showing all of the pitfalls of me trying to make this thing work. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, here is the rough cut, as you can see completely broken, rattling around. I basically just put all the stuff in there just to keep it self-contained um, for spare parts, but we're going to get into it, and we're actually going to be using this for the Prime. This is the wire piece of a Nerf Alpha Trooper. I replaced this on mine, so this is the original, um, and it has some loops that I can use. Um, I don't know which part, probably this one will be hooked on um and the wire is also weak enough that i can just bend it in uh, a vice or with pliers straight so that way it shouldn't be too difficult and then i'm also as i said before one of the benefits of this mod is that you can put in some bigger springs so i've got two big shock springs here because i have a lot of big shocks um for parts and things uh that's a video for another time but basically i have a lot of them so we're gonna put these into plunger tubes in addition to the ones that are um already in the rough cut and we should get a pretty powerful um shotgun so i'm gonna open it up and then we'll see what we're working with all right it's open as you can see parts are kind of everywhere uh, I'm going to save a lot of these just for spares for mine because they're still good. Also, I'm going to take off the spring areas for now so they don't fly everywhere. And we'll probably be able to remove most of this. But now I'm just going to the trigger for now. Alright, so let us get in. Okay. All right. So all of this can also be removed. This was the area that snapped that broke on it. There's supposed to be a little peg here that the big gear fits into and it just snapped that. But this should be able to get taken off. Um, cause this is where it catches in this area. So I'm thinking I stick a bolt through here once I remove once I remove these. Let me just take this out. So this is gone. Don't need that. All right. So we're left with the main. So there's this piece right here, but left with our main break. So I'm thinking we stick something through this. And, well, let me get that angle up in there. Yeah, and then... Something like that. Like, yeah. Mm, or up. Maybe up. We shall... See, I'm 
thing I'm trying. Ideally, I'd like it to actually, if possible, either come through this hole right here or this hole right here, which I think might be possible. Um, as long as I cut down maybe one of these, because I don't think this peg right here requires a, or has a screw in it. Oh yeah, no, because it hooks up to this, see? So, anyway, I say we begin with the easy part of sticking in spring. So, the head piece will take off the screw. It should fit from what I'm seeing. I'm hoping, because I think it'll be pretty, pretty good. Maybe we should, um, oh, just pop forward. Pop the my I'm sweating. Okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah, a uh, little, yeah, just, it takes a little bit of force and, Oh, that might be a problem. Getting over that. Uh, you know what? Actually, hold on a sec. Let's take... Oh. Huh. Interesting. This one has one. This one doesn't. So, I'm assuming, I'm thinking... That that piece actually, maybe it has something, I mean, I've been in these, and the the stage firing is just that this, these pieces want to shave down more than the other, but that might have something to do with it. I don't see a reason why it would change the functionality of the piece, if, especially, like, considering that we've reduced everything, um... I don't see a reason, because it's just this. So, there's no, I'm just going to shave that down, honestly. I don't see a reason for it to exist, so I'm just going to clip that down, so I'll be back in a sec. Alright, back, shave down, stick this guy on, and now this one should fit on yeah pretty well there we go look at that okay and then yeah it looks the same so just fit that bad boy on I don't see a reason why it won't, why it wouldn't catch. If it doesn't catch, we can shade down the little feet thing inside there. Those little steps. A little bit, but for now, uh, I'm just going to put them back in. Yeah. Works pretty good. It's, it's a lot more. A lot more poosh. Okay. Okay, let's just... Uh, okay, so... None... Okay, so the friction is enough to hold that together for now. Okay, so... These pieces are all important, eh? I've been, like I said, I've been, I've been in these things enough times to know pieces somewhat but you learn something new about it every time so the other thing is once again if you can see that now this one I'd, I'd modified a little bit but you can see one of them is higher and that's for the dual stage which if they're both linked is not going to matter so I'm gonna I might shave this one down I'm not sure if it's going to matter if it does I will do it later, but for now I prefer not because that um just reasons <laughs> reasons that would be annoying to kind of explain at the moment. 
Okay, the end. Okay. Okay. Okay, you know what? Just sit to the side. So, linking this up to where it's gonna be, which is here. Okay. And it's gonna be all the way over there. So, this is gonna be about here by this post. See, like, that just links perfectly with here. If I put it down, no, it's got to be up. So, because it loops around this, I'm just going to uh, take a pair of nippers. Just clip that. Get it out of the way. Clip it a little bit more. Make sure it's really out of the way. Yeah. Um. So I'm not sure. Cause hold on, let me. So no matter what, it doesn't really matter if it's bent or not. So that should be least priority. So I think the important thing is finding something that I can stick through this and those. Which uh, might be a washer and bolt setup. But it has to be able to fit through there. So I'm going to look for one in the parts that I have. And see what works. And I'll cut back to that. Okay, so a few things. First one, I took out... Uh, instead of doing the rough cut springs and the big shock springs, I just put in the big shock springs. Because they're more beefy than the rough cut springs. Um, main reason being, I don't want to overload the catches. And just wear them down. Because the ABS plastic is... It's, it's, it's pretty strong. But when you start getting into higher spring loads, it doesn't hold up for long. Uh, I found a bolt fit. And I got a bunch of nuts. So we're going to put that on right now. Hopefully I can do it uh, with the proper camera angle. But anyway, this goes in here. And then I got my unbolts lined up. Oh no, I dropped one. Actually, that might make it easier to do it. Alright, so the way I did it was we put two, and then, and then we, I put in the wire, which is right here, facing up this way. And then I take a slightly thinner washer that I happen, or not, not washer. Hope I haven't been calling it washer all this time. A um, nut that I have. And then I put in the fourth one. Doesn't need to be all the way. Because you just want to just... Jam that in and it does it quite well. And then you just. I could hand screw. For, okay. And then you just screw it. Come through there. Screw, screw, screw. And then, oh no, what the heck? I cut it so that it would fit with the thing outside, but it doesn't. Oh no. Okay, maybe if I tighten it just a little bit. Well, it doesn't fit too well. I cut it longer, I swear. Alright. Mm 
Yeah, that works very well. So, put this on. Hear that? All right. So, um, I think I might have to shave a little bit of this down. First, I'm going to see actually if this can even fit on completely right now. It can't. Wait. Mm. Okay, hold on. Let's just... Okay, I'm going to try taking that nut on the end off. See if that is the... Oh, caught in the shoe. Okay, let's see if that is the reason behind it. Nope, I think I actually do need to just shave down a little bit on this back end here for the a file. I don't think it's this nut after further inspection. Okay. So I'm going to take a file to this, see if it fits up, and then I'll show you when it, it all linked up. Okay, so here it is. Put this here because it, hurt, uh, uh, it hurts your fingers if you don't. Uh, I'm probably going to make this better, but for now, function over form. Uh, primes, fires. Um, I took out the Big Shock springs and put the rough cut ones back in just because I was having some issues with it and I don't want to overstress the internals. So I might buy some rough cut upgrade springs and put them in this. Um, we'll see. Anyway, uh, let's see it fire. All right, we have an assortment of waffle head darts and here we go. Good. Oh, just messed up the prime on two of them. One sec. Eh. That was from the top one again. I'll fire one from the very bottom just so you can see how it's affecting her prime. Because the bottom, as you get lower down, if you don't know this, if you as you get lower down due to the smart AR, the performance goes down a little bit. But still, perfectly acceptable. Pretty good accuracy with the waffle heads. And, uh, you know, works even if you do have this big, goofy thing sticking out the top. All right, so there it was. Uh, pretty solid and fun build, I think. Uh, took me less than a day to do, personally. Still a little bit of stuff that needs some fine tuning probably but um that's fine you know it works so i'm happy with it now um some things that i noticed while i was fine tuning it and putting it together one of the things was that when i put in the bolt screw thing um the head of it actually was pushing against this little cross piece. I'll show a picture over here. And so I shaved that down so that it would fit. And then the other thing was where the trigger actually um, engages with another piece that pushes down the catch. Um, there's a thing in the original where it pushes forwards and then the trigger, um, pulling the trigger won't activate the catches, which it resets on the original blaster, but it doesn't in this version. So I just put some wedges in there to prevent that from moving, picture of it here, and that fixed it right up. So now every time you fire, it engages the catch. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, I don't have anything else to say, so thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to see more, watch this. You can watch the other videos that I have on the channel, uh, and keep uh, you know an eye out for my next video. So I'll see you then.